Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello. Welcome to I Am H.U. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Pirate Ghost Ship. We are in Dragula. We're in the throes of We're Dragula season four. And this it. theme of this episode was glamour ghost ship. Now, you and I are no strangers to being glamorous on cruise ships. Or being ghosts. Yes, because we will haunt all of your dreams. Yeah. And your dad. And the hospital. Well, just that one. They tore it down, well, though. They where did. Hillary no, they was made born. It, they made it into condos. But they tore it down, didn't they? Or did they, they just take the... They tore part of it, the haunted part. Oh. No, actually, they left the hospital up with the morgue. Like, the morgue has been transformed into, like, a laundry room. Can you imagine doing your... Can you imagine doing your laundry? Can you imagine... Wait, I'm laundry. imagining it. So the Edgewater Hospital, it was Hillary Clinton and John Wayne Gacy. They were both born there. They took very different paths, unless you're a Republican, and then they took the exact same path. Yeah, the more... People would say that about John Wayne Gacy. But his emails! <gasps> but he eats males! Oh, no, that was Ted Bundy. <laughs> Never mind. No, no, it was. no, you're right. Oh, he did? No, did he? He buried him under his floor. Did he eat them? No. Did I think that them? was TB. I don't remember. Did he eat them? I don't remember. Oh, it's Dragula. So maybe. maybe. No, that was awful. And we're, we're apologize. Oh, we're not making families. fun of. No, no, no. We're, we, no, we're we making do, fun of yeah. Republicans. We, apologies to their families. And uh, forgive us for our, our lateness, but actually we're not saying sorry because we've been so busy. We just had our live show. Oh, yeah. Our second ever live we show. We did. We had a Christmas in Chicago. live show. And if you are a member of the Patreon, it's coming, babes. No, it's already up. By the time this episode's up, it's already up. It's so already been up. If so you join want to our see Patreon. Our it's like an hour and a half, an hour and forty minutes. Yeah, but it's it's we did we did skits, okay? We did comedy, we did crowd work, we did we had songs. we had a little cameo from Uncle Chan. Uncle we had Chan special was there, guest Maureen, Maureen San, San, Diego. San Diego, my ex catfish. Yes. Mm, yes. Uh, I'm glad we went back to that. I'm, we should absolutely get talk that about haunting. Going. Oh, right. Yeah, the whole situation is very haunting to me. No, you. but it was so fun. And I'm so glad we got on video this I'm, time. Okay, this sounds. This sounds like me. I'm so impressed with us. This was. That's a ghost. Our first show was good. But like this show, we like we built things around a storyline. We had a storyline. We had a cooking segment. It we was had calendars. Ella of a day as what's her name? Eat your heart out because she was what's she was all the names. What? Anyways, we did that and it was fun. And you can blessed. join us on the Patreon to see it in yeah. all its glory. And thank you, Veronica, for filming it for oh, us. Oh, thank you to, and to Ava, Veronica and of Eva. Course. Yeah, Eva. Eva La Fiva. Eva, yes. But we're not here to talk about our incredible live show. No. We're here to talk about drowning. Drag you. And it oh. is so important that if you are drowning, that someone sends you positive energy. We're going to do two episodes tonight, and the newest episode's coming out also tonight. So Hey, we're... We're, you know what, Dragula? You know what, it's the holidays. It's a really busy time it of year. It's we Hanukkah. had our live show. It's Hanukkah. You're literally Hanukkah getting married in year. five minutes. I know. I'm getting married soon. Like, it's a really busy time I'm for sorry. us. I'm sorry, can you, so we, would you mind elaborating We are going to get you the footage. You can just tell me, like, We're going to get you the his huh? name or... Huh? Can you let, what do you mean you're going to... Well, I haven't met him yet. But you already have everything learned. So I've decided, instead of, like doing tradition or whatever, like meeting someone, convincing them that I'm normal, getting them to be partnered with me for 10 years and then getting married in a gallery. What I'm gonna do yeah. is I'm gonna meet someone. We're gonna fall madly in love with each other. What is that movie, Kill Bill, mm -hmm. where- um, She kills him. Who is it? Natalie Imbruglia and mm -hmm. Woody Harrelson go on a killing spree. Yeah, it's too much. And it's going to be like that. We're going to be incredibly in love. You're going to hate him. And we're going to get married soon. Because you know what? I've, I've always felt... Give me your hand. I've always felt that you and I could be like those sorority sisters. Like, we do everything together. Do you know, we get married around the same time. We have babies at the same time. I'm not going to have babies. I'll have, you know, a, a surgery. A and then... You know, we'll die in each other's arms. 
Okay, I didn't like where that went, but I will say I feel very similarly. I feel like we're very much, we give off a Thelma and Louise vibe. You, oh, you're so spirited. Shlemiel, You're Shlemazel. both Thelma and Louise, and I'm a young Brad Pitt. So when you drive off the cliff, I will be, no wait, do they kill him? Don't kill me. So the opening scene is the Boulets and it's Sad Boy Beach, Magic mm -hmm. Conch vibes. I did like this because I, it has been my dream to mm -hmm. always like, drown find something and like pick it up and like you ever do that like you're in an antique store and you pick up a lamp and you rub it just in case i only go to news stores because the antique stores i don't know if you know this are haunted because a lot of the stuff <gasps> only ones on ships though valid thank you magic conch drags the the boulets drag him in and did you notice how filtery and shaky it was you couldn't see how flat their wigs were <laughs> well they were in the water they didn't want to waste that good what is that? Tease. I was going to say poof. Teasing. Have you seen the TikTok of the woman? Very young. She, yes. Is that Walmart poof chicken? Oh, no. Oh! Uh, she's my hero. She goes to Walmart, and these individually wrapped chickens are in these plastic bags, and the bags look like they're about to pop, which means they were unrefrigerated, and now they're filled with gases, so the chicken is bad. So she reports it to the manager of Walmart, and she's like, hey, I work in the food industry or something and I know that this means that they're bad like people that eat this will get sick and the manager said don't worry about it it's fine so she made a TikTok <gasps> and she called it poof chicken because the bag just gets all poofy oh I want to see that actually oh uh, she's my hero okay I'm I wanna you have to see it I'll, it'll you, come oh up. it's on TikTok very young have you seen it let's go to the long table room we've got our returning the conquering heroes from the rock challenge what a nice change of pace the quiet of them entering the quiet. So it's just four of them. And they were so quiet and they were speculating. They definitely think Sigourney's coming back because she definitely did the best out of her group. Yes, she definitely did. Mary's gone on her merry way, but mm. she is still the hottest topic of conversation because we get a full obituary. They're talking about mm -hmm. how much they love Mary and mm -hmm. blah, 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 and this and that. And then Jade and Betty get into it, which is a little sad for me to see because they mm -hmm. were friends before Jade... Got a little jaded and Betty got a little petty. Yeah, well, they even changed her name in the graphic. <laughs> Betty, Betty. Mary Cherry, I, I did feel validated by the conversation they had because the Boulets excused so much that seemed so not ready for Dragula. Yeah. And all the contestants were like, we love her, which we do. Yeah. But like, Literally, she didn't wear shoes. Well, I was like, okay, maybe it, there are Sigourney, people on the show that are also kind of seeing what we're seeing. Yeah, well, and Sigourney said it. She was like, she talks so much game about what a professional she is, but right. she wasn't prepared. Also, Betty started to talk about it, and I'm not, not trying to throw shade at Betty, but it didn't rub me the right way when she said the thing about Sigourney's the leader, and Sigourney got the chance that literally no women ever get. Yeah. I think Betty saw the benefit of her character on the show, the more drama she kind of got into. Yeah. And none of the stuff, even the stuff with Jay. Well, to be fair, that's kind of her character. Well, bitter before Betty. Yes, show. of course. Yeah, yeah. But but the the Jade stuff especially just didn't ring true to me. It was all well well okay okay Ooh. to play da, to play DA. Yeah, district attorney. Your Honor. State of Florida. I do think. There was probably some truth to the fact of like Betty just going, because she said, like, I went up to her after we were done filming and I was like, Welcome back, bitch. Now you're finally here. Jade probably took really big offense to that, which I don't necessarily know. I think know. the Jade thing was true. Yes. I think Betty was. But, but to that. harp on it and to be, which we see later on in the cauldron, the not letting it go with either of them. But it was like, the, it was a day later. I, I very much related to Jade this entire episode and I completely understood everything she was saying. I don't think she has the reality TV abilities. That some um, people do have. La Zavaleta and Bitter Betty, they're able to bring that argument, to bring the drama and then turn it off. They're like, yeah. okay, now we're moving on to this because like that that part of the TV show is over. And I think Jay Jade just really takes it, it personally. Which I do, yeah. But I she do doesn't see. have I do the... see that in myself. Right. What yeah. what? What I'm saying is I related to that too. I relate to How? that too. Like I take things very personally, but I don't say them, I keep them inside. I relate to the idea of if it's happening on camera, if it's happening in, in a pre presentational space, that it's happening in real life. Oh, that's why you don't watch IMHO. You're having to relive the trauma. 
Ah, well, I'm saving it. I'm gonna watch it with my mom and my parents over Christmas. Oh, sure, they're gonna love it. Anyway, but yeah, I it, it just I don't think Jade has. She's too nice, to the core. She's too nice. Also, I think Jade is so cute out of drag. Oh, Jade has has grown into quite the handsome specimen. Right? Out of drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the age. I love to see the age. You love a, you love. Yeah, I love. What I was say with me, boy Crow's face, feet. man body. Oh, I do love that. I do love boy face, man body. Yeah. But no, I love um, I love crow's. You feet. like a crow's feet? Yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah. yeah, I have a wonderful time with that. Well, let's get into it. Their challenge is they have to create a look, glo ghost ship glamour. Mm. They also have to choreograph a song to the new hit Boulay single available now wherever you can get music. Wicked the love. And it's wicked love. We're back to the sea. We're back to the ocean. We're back to the beach. Yeah. You were huh. saying. You were saying. Well, yeah, because, I mean, we're. it's not that long of a series. This was episode five. Now we're already back to, like, kind of an ocean look. It just... I thought it was odd. Well, how about this? How about this? Oh. Technically, the first one was beach party, so that is land. This one is ghost ship, so that's sea. Unless the ship came up on shore because ghosts were Speed drunk. Speed to cruise control. Mm-hmm. No spoilers. I just... Anyway, I wasn't... I wasn't... There's so much in the world of horror filled glamour and... Oh, yeah, they could have done Madonna kimonos. Let's do this. The Boulets started by having their heads in like a fishbowl made of thorns or whatever that was. It's like those 50s like old divers. Yeah, but they but then but they're wired. dead. But yeah. wired. And there's and there's no like glass or anything so they they would drown if they tried to dive in that, but what a glass. But they're ghosts drowning. Our first guest judge is Phil Noble Jr. He's the editor in chief of Fangoria, which is why there was all that Fangoria stuff. He can get it. Yeah, hot. Hot. Sir, hot. And Christian Nairn from Game of Thrones. He played the role Game of, Thrones. of Hodor. Now, you only saw one episode yes, of Game of Thrones. I did. You did not I see Hodor because he was not in that episode. In Hodor, the... that's, a, that's a famous phrase. I've heard that. What's the S phrase? Okay, this is a serious spoiler if you've never seen Game of Thrones. There's a situation in the present. He's holding a door shut on all these uh, w zombies or walkers Sure. to save his friends and let them get away obviously but his friend goes into his mind as a child and as a child he can speak normal but as an adult he can only say hodor so he can only say hodor the whole time he can only say hodor That's the whole time mm -hmm. and th but then you find out this is seriously spoiler seriously spoiler you find out when he's a child and when the his friend that's getting away is in his brain she's yelling hold the door at him so he's repeating it hold the door hold the door and his oh. childhood self is convulsing on the ground he's like hold the door Hold door, hold door, hold door, hold door, hold door, and that's where Hodor comes from, and you find that out in the very like one of the last seasons, and it is one of the most oh. gut wrenching, brutal moments. But I'll say this: season one, you see him naked, huge. Not surprised. Well, I heard recently that it's not real, but even so, huge. He carries it well. Anyway, that's I'm happy sad. to see him. Hodor. It's it is one of the most heartbreaking scenes in the entire series. Okay, listen kids, if anyone, always hold the door. Because if you don't, that happens. Ghost Ship, Lip Sync, Wicked mm -hmm. Love. I mm -hmm. like the song, I like their voices. Yeah, that was a great song. Cute. Sigourney, Mermaid, Sails, Ghosty, Glamour. I thought the sail Shh. thing was really brilliant. Admittedly, this is a silhouette we've seen. Yeah. Who cares, but also, no, I yes, appreciate, it is a vote no. I, jumping ahead to the next episode, I appreciate that the Boulets do finally kind of address that because it, it's it's a valid concern that all yeah, the other contestants are having to show very different sides. Let's, and yeah. Sigourney, sure, everything she's presenting is incredible. As Dolly said, she is showing glamour like no one in this franchise ever has. But yeah, I think it's a valid uh, I'm note. Not, I'm not saying this just because I think Dolly is attractive. Dolly MVP for the season. Yeah. Always the cool head, always yeah. delivering looks. Delivering performance. Yeah. This really sweet moment. I think it was this episode when they go out with Saint to talk about That's the next everything. episode, but yes, 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 Okay, yes, yes. okay. Dolly for president, please. And yeah. I'm already subscribed on the OnlyFans. Keeping that subscription. All right. Jay Jolie. Barnacle face. Barnacle face. I loved this. Cute. I want this wig. I want to figure out how to make this wig. I want barnacles. 
Cool, yeah. Yeah. It is very J. Jolie. It's like Pop Gem and the Holograms Princess. Yeah, I, it, it, as the series has gone on, because now that we are at episode five, the Sigourney critiques, the Betty critiques, the J. critiques, they make sense. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to be seeing that more moving forward of queens who kind of reinvent. tweak their brand and reinvent. Not saying that's a bad thing. I think that it's evident here. One day. One day we're You're both gonna, gonna be show on up. It. <laughs> we're gonna be covered in pee pee poo poo and a little bit of blood. With all that said, J. Jolie is still there hasn't been a single tier. look. We love. There yeah, hasn't yeah, been yeah. a single look that I wouldn't kill to wear. Yeah. Hoso Teratoma doing uh, this crazy cool fish. The judges and the others did not see glamour. I guess they don't really either. But there's something to this mind, and I want to see. Yeah. I want to see this the like concept behind it. I want to hear more about. I want them to break down the summary of a popular movie and what they see when they watch it. Ooh, okay. Like Ernest goes to jail. I want them to watch Ernest goes to jail, and I want them to tell me the story of the movie because I bet. It's wild. but Or that movie Wild with Reese Witherspoon. She could tell me what happens in she that. She wasn't in Ernest Goes to Jail. But she was in Wild. You ever seen that? No, because she, I only watched Ernest Goes to Jail. I thought it, I thought this bit you was only clear. Watched er, er, you only watched mm -hmm. Ernest and Medea movies. That's actually fun. They should team up. He's dead. Why did I laugh? I think what the judges say at the very beginning, that we're not judging your drag, because drag is very personal, whatever the fuck. It's how it relates to this competition. And I think... In relation to the competition, the audience, the judges, we needed to see something a little more conventionally glamorous, which I know is not her brand. I adore her. Listen. Yeah, and, and this was so cool. But yeah, there was a, there was a, I'm honestly, even as small as like long flowy hair. If they had had long flowy hair and maybe a little sequin on something, I would have been like, wow, that is glamorous. I think they wanted... Yeah, I want, I want, I want a little more, I want a little more time hearing her explain her version of Glamour. Or explaining Ernest Goes to Jail. Glamour, uh, Bitter Betty, I gotta say, really beautiful. Oh, she looked gorgeous. Glamorous. I love the blue scale. I thought her makeup was different Stunning. from her, what she's done. Yeah, yeah. Sean too. I think had she not... Poseidon Adventure. You ever we... seen that? Have I ever seen that? Wait, that's what I would do for Ghost Ship. Who I would do upside down Christmas tree. No, I've seen it way before you. You showed me fire. You showed me fire. Uh, Towering Inferno. Also fantastic. That's a good one. Except OJ Simpson's in it, but look past that. The rest of it, Fred Astaire, Burning Building. Had this been week one, I think Bitter Betty would have won. Because this was we didn't glamour. Even... Mm. Out the ass. Now, we didn't even mention the Fright Feet, which was there was a key to life and death that they mm. hid in the boudoir. And Jade found it. Which and Jade found it, which is bad timing for Betty because... Betty had to know it was coming. But Betty, again, I'm, I'm, I don't mean... And maybe I'm wrong, but I think Betty's a really good TV character, and I think, I think she knew exactly what she was doing. And there had to be a little bit of her that was like, this really works for my character. Like, this is... There's a story here, right? I think more likely it's just like, well, I think she's like, fuck, but I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm just saying, I think there's a part of her that recognizes like, oh fuck, but also like, I'll see you on TV. La Zavaleta, now I didn't quite get this. The hair was beautiful, the makeup was beautiful, it was glamorous. The hair and makeup were the exact same hair and makeup from the beach. I thought she was bald in the first, in the beach. The beach, uh-uh, she had the kind of 20s, that kind of, Wave. She looked gorgeous. She looked gorgeous. I didn't quite similar. understand the the frock. Very similar. I didn't understand if it was a caftan or what. Now yeah. wait a minute, Dolly. As Excuse me. Porthole. Oh, you you subscribe to their OnlyFans, so you see the porthole all the time. I love to experiment with, for Dolly to experiment with my porthole. Respectfully, <laughs> respectfully, of course. To who? And the way that they incorporated what? glamour, but still keeping their amazing that's mustache. Saying. That's what I was going to say. They looked so glamorous. Like, seeing the zoom in, I was like, damn. Fingoria saying, I could see this as the new, like, Babadook, like, saw this. Kind of, there's been a little, I'm not saying Dolly's look the same every time, because absolutely they haven't. But there's been but this see, through line, mm -hmm. this, this, you know, mustache, the eyes. Honestly, I could see, it. this could be the new Rob Zombie, the new... You know, who saw? Who saw? 
-hmm. Spiral Cheeks. This could be the new Spiral Cheeks. And I've seen the OnlyFans, so I know he does well with Cheeks. Saint. I loved this. This was amazing. This was amazing. It was like a drowned sea captain. Drowned sea captain. The high drowned. waisted, the buttons. This was beautiful drag. This was art. Art, mother. Mother. What did I say, mother? I was gonna say maum, and my mind went to mother. Mother. I need to investigate that. I need to investigate this outfit. It's really it's good. Perfect. So cool. So uh, cool. They so didn't glamour. like those shoes, which is all Saint can hear. Saints, Saint yeah. likes to focus on the negatives, but we all do. We're getting there, and she's starting to feel the pressure of. Yeah, of course. But she's doing well. She is. They right away before even critiques happen. They say, Jade, you gonna save yourself? You gonna put someone else in the bottom? Mm. If I don't know if I'm safe or not, I'm saving myself. I think Jade because she could have. She was safe. But. She, I really, I like that she said, people are saying I don't make strong choices, so I'm making a strong choice and I'm putting bit of Betty in the bottom. People, and what she meant by that was Betty says that. And she's like, okay. Betty and I'll probably her own you. inner demons. I'll listen to you. I love Betty, but this was such a beautiful TV moment. Seeing everyone's face drop and Betty just- Gagged. Stone face, staring straight forward. Like, mm-hmm. I knew it. Loved it. Gag. And they're like, and Jade, you're safe, so you can go back. Jade is safe. Ugh, as she always is. As she always is. And surprisingly obviously, to everyone, but the judges. Sigourney won. Yeah, Sigourney won. Congratulations, Sigourney. Well deserved. Well deserved. I Stunning. I could have seen it going Either to way. Saint or Dolly. But Sigourney's also a performer and I'm sure in person. That look was extremely mesmerizing. She knows how to sell it. Betty's obviously in the bottom. Betty, La Zavaleta, and Hoso. La Zavaleta and Hoso. Hoso was very adamant that what they were wearing was glamour to her. Well, which I do appreciate. It's kind to of her, stand, yeah. Stand just, up for yourself. Stand up for what you believe in, and that's why it's important. Prayer in schools. So we go back to the cauldron, and there's so much emotion and so much heat that we actually get kind of a funny edit of it. Oh, and all thanks to Dolly, who yes. is like, let's see how this all started, shall we? She, we see These clips of them all going making me laugh shit. So, so good. Hard. Everyone's I don't even know where to start. Everyone is It's crazy. Notable moments for me. Let's just do notable yeah. moments. So we have well, one of my favorite parts was Lizavaletta and, and Jade. Jade going at it. Mm, that's okay. what, That's what I mean about. Uh, that's what you meant, I think, when you said Jade doesn't have the the reality TV fighting skills. No, she doesn't. And we all know Lizavaletta doesn't because, because not, but neither of them could let it go. That's what I know. Lizavaletta does have reality TV fighting skills because then the next day she comes in, she's like, "Sorry about that," because she yes, she turns that, it on and off. Yes, and because Lizavaletta, let's be honest, if we're looking at it from the outside looking in, which we are, we weren't there because we were on our ghost ship. We had the babies of the ghosts that can't swim. Lizavaletta's arguments weren't great. To me, Potter me speaking me, they're contradicting themselves a lot, and Jade just isn't able to think clearly in those situations to be able to call that out. Cause like, I'm screaming at my phone. I'm like, oh my God, but wait, 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 that's not what she just said. And J Jade's just like, okay, well that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to me. I was like, tag me in. And I like, we're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna discuss it. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. They're mm -hmm. gonna discuss it on the next episode. So I, I, I like, I like how it resolves, but yeah, watching it was, and seeing Hoso... It, it was just kind of uncomfortable. Well, yeah. Well, because and then, like, Dolly and, they, and Hoso, they excused themselves. They were like, what the fuck is this? I don't want this. Hoso's like, stop talking about this shit. And then Hoso, in her way, she's like, I'm gonna get mean. Did she get mean? Not really. Did she need to say to Sigourney, I hate your look? No. But, like, she said it in the nicest way possible. Yeah. That's one thing that's also, like... I mean, yes, I'm biased, but everything... <clears throat> yeah, when Sigourney every, said... Every was like, mm -hmm. yeah, she says it in the next episode, but... Um, mm -hmm. Just in this one, she says, every time there's some sort of argument, some sort of issue, I always have a target on my back. So, ultimately, wonderful TV. Yeah. And seeing Dolly just stay out of it, even more attracted to Dolly. <laughs> I wrote down Dolly's attitude. Hot. 
So hot. So hot! So hot. And notice how Dolly and Saint, who have been here before, are kind of not really engaging with this. Right. It's Betty, Lazavaleta, and Hoso up for extermination. And their extermination, on the outset, didn't seem that crazy to me. A beach photo shoot. A beach photo shoot, which honestly kind of sounds like fun. Uh, yeah. Good time. But maybe it was cold. Maybe it was... Seeing the waves crashing on the rocks, them that does sound it. Yeah, hearing them talk about the next day, and then kind of thinking back to the footage, there was a moment where a wave just wiped out La Zavaleta, like, while, during, like, she truly underwater. That's, yeah. that's a lot. The outcome was cute. I liked it. Should we go to the beach after this and have a little photo shoot? Or the pool? You know what would be great? Well, my should pool we go is to closed. The pool? No, we should go to the beach, though. And I will absolutely do it with you. But I need you to get there first and just make sure the sand is the right and the water. So if you could get there early. Okay. I'll bring the the weight to tie around your waist so that you stay. I don't want you to float away. You know what I mean? And then I'll make sure I have those, you know, those heels you love to wear that are made of concrete. <laughs> They're crazy. I bought you a new that pair. That would have been good. Go ship. Go ship concrete feet. Oh, you know who did concrete that? Concrete Hyman. She had concrete feet shoes on her season. Of what? And then, unfortunately... Come to find out. Betty is dead. I feel so bad for her that she had to get in the water, do all that, and then do it again. Do it again. Her death, as far as deaths go on the show... Pretty fun. Oh, I felt... You want to drown? You don't want to drown. No, I want something fun. I want, like... Well, nothing beats smothering... Right. Getting smothered by a stripper's thighs. Yeah. Mary's got no, the best Mary, death. Mary for, died the best. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, bitter Betty. Wow. You what know what? What a fun What a ride. Run. What a ride. And say what you want. She is bitter. And she is Betty. I was really happy to see her on this season. I was and I'm, thrilled. And I'm glad, that, I'm glad that she had this opportunity. Yeah. I don't think it's the last we'll see of her. I think you're right. I think she's a great TV not. character and I think she should come back in some future. Well, she's session. so well connected in general. I don't think I don't think Betty's going anywhere. All right. Well, we are going to actually we're going to We're going to go, go on a, the, the we're going to go to the beach. We're going to yes. So, I'm going to send her to the beach. I'm going to call all of the ghosts that um I know in the lake and be like, "Hey, can you bring chips?" And then we'll be back to do the next episode. Chips, See you soon. Chips is our friend. He's our photographer friend, and he takes all our pictures. And we call him Chips because he, a lot of his teeth are chipped, but he likes it that way. It's because he um, opens the... So instead of just using the little thing to take the cover off his of the, camera, of the lens. he always uses his teeth. That's, and that's why his teeth are so chipped. Um, but also, hung like a horse. <laughs> Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. Hello, uglies. We're back. Welcome to IMH. In my homosexual opinion. I'm still Darby. And I'm still Alexis, but this time... You know. Oh, let's cheers. Do you need We're to get roaches. Do you need to get another one? No, no, no. I'm... I this is my third and final for the evening. I can't be crazy. Well, I have a couple. We'll see. We're roaches that, um, uh, to foreshadow what happens in the end of this episode. So if you haven't we seen do it yet. I in uncut shadows. You know what the trouble with uncut shadows is? I don't know what. Spectral schmegma. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on shorts because I realize I'm just sitting in my underwear and I don't want you to get turned on. <gasps> Oh, it was a zipper. It was a zipper. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. As soon as I get into my roach gear, that was your idea. And so this is very much a last minute thing. I, j I just go all, because you know what roaches think about all the time, right? UK? Nothing. The They're queen. roaches. When I grew up in Texas, they were everywhere. Literally, one crawled up my leg in my sister's car. And she wasn't dirty. I was in the backseat with this girl that I was friends with, but we were only friends because we were forced to go to the same church in the neighboring town over. Her name is Meredith Fuchelet. Hey, Meredith. And we were in the back of the car, probably what going church? to church. Can you go to Church of Christ? You went to a Church of Christ? Yeah. Ugh. Can't you, you can't do music and stuff, right? No. It's so stupid. No music. I've said this before. No music allowed. Big screen TV. Fine. Luckily, I didn't have my seatbelt on because the, the roach crawled up my leg. I screamed. You didn't have your seatbelt on? Well, back then they didn't have seatbelts. It was oh, the right. 90s. This used to be gold, but now it's brown. So I don't know So we just had one of the most tumultuous, called tumultuous, tumultuous, 
Tumultuous? Well, no, that's. <sighs> I'm saying tumultuous because it's Hanukkah. Tumultu Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Well, first let's do because oh. their their thing is the Boule Beauty oh. Bazaar yes. and Monster Salon. And it was bizarre. And it was bizarre. And they're gonna make monsters. They're gonna make monsters ugly. Now let's go to the somehow log. I'll make a monster out of you. I'm Donny Osmond. No. Oh, you're right, monster. There, you're right there. He's a monster. You don't know that. Whenever we film a second episode in the same day, I just take your switch. Wig. I'm yeah, loving yeah. the Alexis Bevels. Because you're, I, I, I've said this before, usually while drunk, I think you're a stellar drag queen. I think your Thank art you, Darby. is. I think you would have been very much, uh, I think you would have made it to episode five of Dracula. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Oh my God. Oh. And then they would have started saying like, we're seeing the same kind of things. You also sleep during the runway and that's weird. But I think you would have done well. Well, that's because the tenets of Dragula are drag, horror, filth, filth glamour. Go to sleep. Oh, is that what it is? It's a different G. So we go into the long table room after we watch a weird commercial for a hair salon. We get the... the we're speculating to see who's coming back. And then in walks Lazav. Yeah, Lazav, which was not a surprise. Not a surprise. And then Hoso. And then Hoso. And so obviously Bitter Betty has drowned. I have said drowned 20 times in this episode. What's happening? Did a loved one? Maybe it's... Maybe you drowned in a past life. <laughs> I turned it into Barat for that. You would be the worst <laughs> psychic. Okay, hang on. Give me your hands. Oh, I think you may have drowned in a past life. <laughs> give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Okay. A palm. I do palms. P for palm reader. Okay, so you see how these two match up? Mm -hmm. That means you were in the Ark. You were in Noah's Ark. So you were either Noah or you were one of the animals. You were probably a roach. And then this, these two, they don't meet up. So that means you're going to die. Probably by roaches. One thing that was really exciting to see is after the drama of the cauldron, yeah. everyone owned up to their insane behavior. And La Zavaletta. Yeah. La Zavaletta. Valletta, she came in with an apology, so big of her to walk into this room and like, hey guys, by the way, then Jade and then Sigourney and, and Dolly and Dolly was talking about how no one congratulates Sigourney and then Sigourney. I, it was a beautiful moment. Beautiful. And Saint had it best. It was like, it's like the first day all over again. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be. Love it. Well, that's not, okay, Saint, I love you, adore you. It's not how it's supposed to be because we would have stopped watching it episode two if y'all were like nice the whole time. That's why I didn't finish Camp on a Kiki. Everyone was so nice. Uh, really big of Zavaletta. Zavaletta, la Zavaletta. Adore. Like a I... lasagna, layered. I layered again. Dolly, Dolly is so hot. Dolly was like, "This is the this is who people don't know her to be because she, she's actually very very nice." And I was like, "Dolly, stop being so level handed and nice. Like I'm so hard." But Lazavaletta, star, obsessed with her. I I I've, oh, I'm I'm really coming to love I've, her. Oh, I have really turned coming the corner to love her. already. I'm now. I'm in. I feel like we're down to a really solid group. Yeah, and there will still be some drama because Lazavaletta oh, is. Course. Uh, they are who they are. We're all drag performers. We're a drama. But I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, so, that was nice. Let's talk about the main challenge mm -hmm. this week, which is a hair... What is it called? Hair? Mm-hmm. It's not a hair ball, because it's just It's one. just like... It's just like beat Harry. 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 It's called Harry something. Harry Hamlin. Sponsored by Art of Wigs. Chicago favorite Art of Wigs. We have an Art of Wig episode. We do. Check it out. Yeah. Check it out. They we sponsored one of our episodes and gave us some beautiful wigs. She taught us how to style wigs. Yes. I love, actually, today, you just brought over, listen, this is not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. This is not sponsored, but we'll give Art all the free. Well, we love them. No, truly, the styling video that we did that you're definitely going to watch, because it's cute, it's fun, and we farted. I made a wig that I thought was cute, and I wore it a couple times. Mm -hmm. You... Oh, I just did. That wig has held up. It is thick. The amount of hair oh my gosh. in an Arda wig. The amount of hair. 
that's why it's held up for so long and that's why it's one of your favorites because it is so thick. Very true. That is the not something you see a lot in blonde hair. Blonde we hair have, especially. Blonde, blonde hair especially. Yeah. And blonde we have to get the infrastructure just like politics or whatever. Well, absolutely. Well, the economy. Anyway, not sponsored. Love it. Okay. Not sponsored, but love them. We did get a little bit of sad news. Jade is going through something this episode because she is ha having to deal with someone in her family got sick. Her sweet, adorable cat. I don't know if we ever got the name. She had to, she had to put it down. Over FaceTime. Over FaceTime. Heart goes out to Jade. So sad. I would be, I would be heartbroken. Heart. You would know especially. You have literally killed a cat in your arms. Like, you know more than anyone. Yeah. Remember, was it last season when they had the Arta one and they all acted surprised, but they all got the hair that was very clearly made for them? Did they do that this time? I don't think so. They played with different hair, right? Yeah. They had that whole like montage of like, we have very few contestants, but still the same amount of time to fill. Let's do a wig off. Well, because they put it on and they took it off. That's called a wig off. Oh, yeah. That yeah. was shenanigans with trying mm -hmm. to get Dolly to wear a wig. There are certain lines, okay? Speaking of lines, we got lines of hair with these boulets. Look at them. I love them. Cool. Those. They said on Twitter it was like 30 pounds. Could you imagine sitting, filming all day in 30 pounds of hair? Well, how much is that? This one? Yeah. Oh, it's like, you know, two. It's ten. Two to ten. Two to ten. Who's to say, depending on gravity. Right. I thought it was really cool though. You could tell it was heavy. You could tell they weren't really moving their necks, but I don't need to see them move their necks. I love their little like pre-judging delegations. <gasps> Same. They're so good. I, that was one thing I, I wanted to talk about this episode because Little Boulet has been very open with her actual feelings, I feel like, this season. We're seeing a lot of her personality come out. And when she was like, no, I am here to talk about Sigourney's glamour. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big One was really trying to, like, every time they were showing any sort of biases, you know, Jade's, like, family stuff, she was, Big One was like, no, but we can't do this. And then Little One's like, but we can. Guest judge Nina Aaron. <gasps> what Famously did she from say? Princess Diaries. Is she? Alexis. He babbles. I like the way she talk. Wait, I can't do it. I like the way she talks. Mm -hmm. What did she say the last time she was here? Oh, she said, I love this chair. Mm. Also, guest judge, current reigning, the king, land insider, incredible. All hail. All hail. I mean, he looked incredible and wasn't it so nice to see him again? So happy to see him. Yeah. And did you get a little chuckle though? When they zoomed out and you could see all four of them sitting there, Landon was clearly sitting on like a high seat. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting on a bar stool or something. That's funny. I was like, why is he so big? Let's start with Saint. Saint was giving Mr. Tumnus very Coco Pelli's flute. Really incredible. And, incredible. and, and to, they weren't wearing the shoes. Dragula's I not... I love the makeup. Dragula's not one that I think about the shoes a lot, right? Like, I, I never really... As long as you have something on that kind of matches what you're wearing, it just... It doesn't seem to be as important. So I was a little surprised when they hopped on the, the biscuit train. But I did like seeing her switch it up. Once they mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, I'd like to yeah. see her something different. This was so fucking cool. And to see her kind of doubt herself the last couple episodes, and then just come in and blow us all away. Mm -hmm. I was just happy for her. Dolly as the bridge troll. You gotta pay the <sighs> troll's toll. I'll pay the troll's toll. Loved. So fucking cool. Yeah. So scary. So crazy. Bats. Bat. Trend alert. Bats. Sigourney. Uh, she had a whole performance, a whole reveal, cloak into she wolf. She's a werewolf. She There's wolf. a she wolf yeah. in the closet. Open up, it's Sigourney. Again, Ooh. week one, week two, maybe Amazing. would have won. At this point, and we're now, not seeing. Yeah. And I, I do agree. You know, I am. A, we are Team Sigourney here. Yeah. But I do agree. We haven't really seen filth from her. We've seen glamour. We've seen horror done in kind of a more glamour style. Yeah. We haven't really seen filth. I want to see, I want to see pee pee poo poo on your body. <sighs> pee pee poo poo. Sorry. That's filth. I want that. That's, <laughs> that's filth. 
Who? Hoso Teratoma is the Mothman prophecy fulfilled. Mm. I love this concept. I, loved it so I much. love the execution. I love the makeup. I, I love, love that everything there was, like, about Hoso. A cute element to it too. That was filth. That was horror. That was glamour. It was everything. Arda Arda Beard. Yeah. Arda Beard. Now available at Arda.beard. And then we have Jade Jolie as, I think was she was Krampus? Krampus? Oh, Krampus, yeah. I Speaking think... of Christmas, because the holidays. Oh, yes, the holidays. And I would like a child to be put in a bag and beaten to death. Isn't that what he does? Is that what Krampus does? Um... He puts you in a bag and he beats you, right? Oh, maybe he just did that to me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still, it's, it's very what we've seen from Jade all along. Polished, gorgeous costumes. Yeah. There's just a... There's Honestly, a... this could have been worn for last week and because and, I kind of thought she was pirate vibes. La Zavaleta. Mm. Now, it's so interesting that this came out... The week of Jade The Julie's week cast, of yeah. Stephen Sondheim's death. Oh. Because Cass is one of my favorite Sondheim musicals. And this was kind of fun. It was like Rum Tum Tugger. I'm going to let... It... I'm gonna let you fix that. There are gay people rioting in the street right now. About Did you see Stephen's that Patty LaPone tweet that was like a fuck you to Andrew Lloyd Webber? Okay. She tweeted out, Patty LaPone tweeted out something along the lines, I don't know the exact words, but it was something along the lines of like, we lost the final great musical theater composer. Andrew Lloyd Webber was like, Well, he, huh? should, he should never have fucked her over. Fan of the Opera 2 was actually where he fucked up. She was a cat. Not it wasn't my favorite. I'm gonna say that. Cool performance. Confidently. Confidence. Mm -hmm. She had confidence. She yeah, once they said it. Here's the thing with the show is my reference for what they want, I have no idea. But once they say it, mm -hmm. then I'm like, oh yeah. Seems like some of the contestants also have that difficulty. Oh. We get a first win. For Hoso. Congratulations, Congratulations. Hoso. That is really incredible and so well-deserved. I mean, that outfit yeah. was insane. I don't, I wanna, wait, was it like $1,000 at Arda Riggs? At Arda. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. That's a lot of wigs. Because, again, not sponsored, affordable. They are qu high-quality wigs, mm -hmm. beautiful lace, soft, very soft lace, and the thickness, the thick, but affordable. So congratulations, Hoso. We were so excited. But unfortunately, that means our bottom two are Jade and Sigourney, which was like, Hasakawa? Yeah. But now that we're getting down to such a small group, I got their note. They weren't saying that she was bad. If anything, before their like, pre-judging notes, Little Boule let it slip that like, I love her. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I think it was clear from just them saying who the bottom two were that we were going to lose Jade. But I did enjoy the conversation they had in the cauldron when she opened up about her cat. And everyone was so supportive. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was nice. Because it would be very easy to be like, that's a cat, whatever. But no, when it's your pet, it's something... It's completely different. It's a different. completely different yeah. thing. And you're already dealing with all these emotions being in this kind of situation. To have that on top of it, I'm sure was really tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she handled it really beautifully. The fact that she decided not to share it until after the shore, shore after the floor show, that the showed a lot floor. of care for others, like putting her needs yeah. aside, which take care of yourself, obviously, but I thought that was really selfless. So we find out because we're roaches, we actually inspired that. They had to go sit in roaches or whatever, stand in roaches, stand in a room with roaches. They had to go to the roach Acropolis and the longer Sorry, they stood in there, the more roaches came. So what I loved was, I thought it was going to be this the whole time, was the guy in the back putting roaches on them and just kind yeah. of wiping his hands off. And then they started pouring them in through the ceiling, which would have been a nightmare. Do you know who I think had it worse? Sigourney. Because she no. had more open skin. No, Jade, because she had so much hair and stuff. The, the roaches, roaches could have gone stuck. in there. Once it's all over and you're, you can wipe them off, Jade can't wipe them off. Right? You didn't think about that? We find out who is going to the Boulet Bazaar, what's it called? The um, Salon de, I have no idea. Boulet Beauty Bazaar and Monster Salon. It is Jade. <sighs> I mean, we saw it, obviously, but still sad. 
It's still sad. The fuck? Maybe I need to go to that bazaar. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know how I got it caught in my pizza neck, but I should be a jeweler. I would love if you made jewelry. Me Can you too. make bangles for big hands? Bangles don't work for me. Bangles for big hands? Bangles for big hands needs to be a thing. Can we get some justice for big handed ladies? Ooh, yeah. Also rings. Do we have for any big sponsors hands? that want to start a small business with us? Jay Jolie gets her hair cut and then she gets her throat slit. Did you see on Twitter someone was like, one thing you will always get from Jay Jolie is she will always go home with no wins on episode six covered in hair. <gasps> <laughs> That's so true. I, can't, I, can't, I wish oh I knew who tweeted God. that. If you tweeted that, That's shout out That's brilliant. To you. Uh, wow. She always does, does wow. that. Wow. Well, twice, but yeah, always twice. The fact that she got to go home and kind of grieve. That, that's nice. Yeah, and, and I do like that the Boulay said that. It's like, we know she's going through a hard time, but we can't treat her differently. We can't give well, her preferential treatment because... Little Boulay was over there just thinking about Sigourney. So long, Jay. So long, Jay. Arriva Jay. What a return to our televisions though. I mean, truly. I was happy to see her. I was so happy to see her. And like, she's such a delight. She's such and a delight. She's, she's always so such a well. really lovely. Yeah, I adore Jay Jolie. I can't, I can't wait to see something else from her. Like maybe a... <sighs> Naked and Afraid? Only fans? Same thing, different vibe. Now, a new Dragula is actually, let me check my watch, premiering right now. But you don't know filming. that because we're... Well, I told them though, so now they do know. Well... Yeah, I did tell them you that. You don't know. So we will be back with more Dragula very soon. But... You okay? I have big boobs. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for being so patient with us. And Betty and Jade, it has been a joy to watch you on TV and we cannot wait to see what yes. you do next. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or also the little bell notification because you'll get a notification. It'll be like, look, they posted again. Can you believe it? I can't. Yes, and if you'd like to see more exclusive content, including our brand new holiday show, mm -hmm. join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash IMHO the show. We're a little bit goes a long way. And two, something I don't think we, we say enough is that every episode that you're watching, like the episode you're watching right now, there's always extra shit that we cut out before yeah. you see it, that Patreon gets to see. And it's usually if one of our close friends has done something stupid, we say something about our family really negative, or come. Also, if you would like a little message from us, we are both on Cameo. So Ma'am. make sure you head over to Cameo. And if you want a message from the both of us together with Whoa. the IMHO background Whoa. and all of it, wow. all of it, go wow. to IMHOTheshow.com and order yourself a Shamio. Mm -hmm. Also, just as a, a quick a, a FYI and a quick thank you, but also a quick just like public service announcement. I'm getting married in less than two weeks. And so, and, and I do all the editing of everything. And so things are slowing down for us here. So if you do order a Shamio, or if you emailed me that you're still waiting on some sort of merch, I'm so sorry. I'm doing the best I can. We want to acknowledge that she is going Tired. into the busiest <laughs> time of her life. Holidays plus I'm actually, mm. I'm getting married. So She's thank you so much for I'm your patience. I'm getting married soon. So, Keep that in mind that we're both going through something really crazy right now. Can you believe this is so insane? I honestly can't. So, uh, but just please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> no, but just if you do order a shamio, thank you so much. But it thank may you take for a couple weeks. Patience. But the people who have received their shamios, I will tell you, they really enjoyed them. One even said, is this it? Glowing reviews. Glowing reviews. Yeah. And speaking of reviews, this one is over. Bye. <laughs> I'm here at the Walmart in Valley Stream. I was looking over some chickens and I see these big poof bags. I told the manager, team leader, Deanna, that this means these bags were left without refrigeration. I know because I've done it several times. So if you're at the Walgreens, I mean the Walmart at Valley Stream and you eat this chicken, you could die. This poofy bag means no refrigeration. And Deanna said it's okay, because she's the team leader that's rude as So everybody wanted me to make a follow-up video on Walmart's Poof Chicken. The good news is you can still get your bag. You can still come by and get your poofy chicken. Deanna said it was okay. So it's still here. Either that or... I don't know. 
Maybe they know something we don't. Poof chicken. Get it while it's not. I'm back at Valley Streams Walmart and I felt as though I had to clarify some things. I would like to say I did not blame Walmart or Purdue Chicken because they're right. They put air in their bags, right? But the thing about it is, you see these bags are how they're supposed to be. The poof chicken was inflated like balloons. So that wasn't Walmart and it wasn't Purdue. It was whoever was supposed to be responsible for quality control. So shout out to Walmart, shout out to Purdue. I ain't say nothing bad about you. I am speaking on the poof chicken that you did not have anything to do with. This is how it's supposed to be. There's air, right? What we saw was poof chicken. <laughs> the proof is in the poof chicken. That is adorable. The proof is in the poof. Thank you for that.